Hey everyone, welcome back to Is Your Six Covered. Thanks for showing up. I did a small wet tumbler, and today we're going to show you a massive wet tumbler from a friend of mine. Yeah, he's been doing this for a little while now, so it's nice. I'll give you guys an idea how to clean large, large amounts of brass. So you don't have to, if you're a huge reloader or you're running some 650s or whatever the case is and you got them on automatic and you're just blasting through ammo, this would be something you'd want to do. So today we have the Cobalt, it's a cement mixer. He went with the plastic, the drum, there you go, thank you Hammer. Uh, he went with the plastic drum in order to keep the brass from getting nicked. And uh, But inside here where you're going to see the mixers, and we'll get into this and show some of the other parts later. But he used three quarter inch rubber hose and he cut it down the middle with a straight edge in order to protect the edge of the blades that mixes the stuff, keep from getting damage of the, of the brass material. And as you saw in my video, this is way faster, way cleaner of a way to clean brass. And especially at the magnitude of this using we're going to put about 50 pounds of brass in here. So we're doing large quantities of cleaning. It's a lot more simpler if you have it all separated and you're using just one caliber at a time. But basically this bucket here is 223. So we're going to grab two big old containers of this. So right here is 20 pounds. We're going to run two and a half of these. We're going to put them into the bin. We're going to add our concoction of mix that you saw in my other video, but it's basically Lemmy Shine. And uh, today we're gonna use Ajax soap, but normally I would use Dawn. We're gonna let this tumble for 30 minutes, and you're gonna see how amazing this is. So let's get back. Stand All right, so here's inside the cobalt barrel. It's plastic that we talked about. You're gonna see three blades or three mixers that are steel. Let's see if I can find a good spot. So right there you'll see a screw and then a metal blade. So what he did was he covered those up with three quarter inch, zip tied them all together, just to keep from being able to, uh, you know, not destroy the brass. So it's, let's give it a shot. We are gonna throw in two and a half, like I said, and these are heavy, big buckets. You're gonna see this one's uh, 18, let's see if you can see that, 18.2. That one I measured already was 20. Let's see what this one is. All right, so we got 18 plus zero. <laughs> what was that, eight? So that's what we'll basically call that 10 because this was 22. So we're right at 30, 50 pounds. Right around 50 pounds. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, continue on. So I'll start here. So the price of this, if you're interested, at Lowe's, it was $289, $289. There's, uh, what, about $15 in rubber and zip ties. Other than that, it's good. It's everything that it came with, minus the extension cord, so you're pretty much ready to go. So we'll go ahead and add water. We'll add this uh, cleaning equipment. Some more Lemmy Shine. What are you running as far as uh, tablespoons or something? You just sprinkle it in. Just sprinkling it in and then about a quarter inch of soap. Over here is a table that he made. It has two different screens together. So what we'll do is we'll pour this over. There's a large uh, pool, like a kiddie pool that'll be underneath here. We'll dump this, we'll dump all the uh, brass into it, but we'll show you guys that in a little bit. So we'll get started. All right, so we're gonna fill it up. What are we looking for on a fun pipe here? We're looking for a certain level. Get the brass so it's all just sitting in the water and it's kind of level with the brass. Okay. Very nice. So is that about the amount of water yep. we're looking for? Okay, so here's a good, it's kind of dark in here, but hopefully this helps. So the water level's to here. 
it's pretty nice and flat across. So there's that. Now we'll add the, the detergents. We've got the Lemmy Shine. It's a nice, good, quick shake. One good line down the middle. And then uh, just hitting the button, right? A little water's gonna come out for free. Okay. So it's noisy, but we'll let that go for 30 minutes. We'll be back and we'll show you the comparison of the rest of this dirty brass that it's been with to the nice, shiny new brass. So see you in a little bit. All right, so here is the water that we got from Looks like a beer. It's got a head on it. Um, pretty damn dirty. You can't even see my finger. That's dirtier than I thought, actually. All right. So here is. Here's 30 minutes. It's been exactly 30 minutes. We're going to go ahead and do some work here. I'll show you guys. So right here we have a we have a screen that he made. And this is a 20 inches hammer. 24 inches tall. 24 inches tall. Um, due to stability, he added the bottom one here, which gave him another inch and a half, which he would probably prefer not to have. Yeah, I'm going to cut it back down. So as we uh, go ahead and tip this over Do is I run it, get the loose stuff out. Oh, yeah, a couple of pieces popped out. So it runs it for a minute for a couple of pieces to pop out. And that's it. There's about 10 or 15 more rounds in here. There's one right behind the 50 pounds of clean, washed brass. Now we'll go ahead and rinse this off just to get all the soap particles off. What's nice about it, the way you design it, he has about an inch and a half uh, height little rail here, so you can pour a ton of ammo in here. You can see the screen in here. Oops. And uh, man, that is a shit ton of glass. We're live. <laughs> I 
I need to separate it before we. Uh... All right, so here's a good example of separating your brass sizes prior to cleaning. So you can see. Come on, focus. You can see that the the part that was left out is nice and clean, and then the part that was stuck inside of another brass was not. But other than that, clean, clean brass, hundreds of pounds of brass. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you some. This was the first batch. Second batch. This is all uh, pistol stuff, and then another fifty pounds of um, fifty pounds of two two three. We did an experiment with some uh, shot shells. Water was nasty. <clears throat> I wasn't here for that, but um, he was saying that crazy how much stuff came out of there. But he's running a dryer. We're in the winter now. And he's keeping this small room, his reloading room, which has got some beautiful uh, reloaders in it. <clears throat> but um, we'll get some old brass that hasn't been cleaned yet. And we'll put it next to the uh, new brass. But yeah, you can see the difference. Pretty crazy. So you guys, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video. Take care, like, share, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you on the next one.